Yeah, the clowns like to pick on us and I think we like to pick on them back, so it usually creates for entertainment for the audience. Uh, for example, some clowns like to make jokes about uh, hairspray, and so we'll come out and we'll douse them with hairspray or something like that, or they'll challenge us to a race. I've, I've, done, I've been in a couple clown races where they jump on a horse and I'm on my horse and we race either down and back or do a barrel pattern. I always win. That's how it goes. End of story. I always win. Drill teams. Well, I can tell you a lot about drill teams. I've worked with a couple of different ones. I've, I started out with high school. I did drill team in high school and that's how I kind of got really into it. I liked being a part of a team and getting to ride my horse. It was kind of like the best of both worlds for me, having played basketball and being a horsewoman. And so I work with the high school team, and then I also work with a professional drill team, the Rock and Roll Cowgirls. And we've gotten to shenanigans with the clown as well, so it must just be something that carries over. If you have a good personality and are really outgoing, it's going to happen one way or another. And so it's a really great way to kind of be a community of horse people working towards one goal, and I really like that. So I'm currently enrolled at Oregon State University pursuing a degree in bioresource research, applied genetics, and doubling in agricultural education. I hope to use that degree to go on and work in the field of genetics, probably in plant genetics, trying to work with the agricultural community because that's where my roots are and that's where I want to stay. But I hope to one day be able to come back to the classroom on the other side of the chalkboard as a teacher and not just a student because I really like giving back to the younger generation. I have been a beaver fan for as long as I can remember. I I've definitely was quoted for saying, I bleed black and orange in my article after I won Miss Rodeo Oregon, which was probably fitting considering Corvallis is my hometown, it's where I was born and raised. And I would love to be able to work with Oregon State, which is an agricultural college, as I promote Miss Rodeo Oregon and the agricultural industry, because that's part of what being a state title holder or a rodeo queen is all about. It's not just about promoting rodeo, it's about promoting our western way of life. And I would love to be able to do something fun in order to in order to kind of merge those two worlds like maybe carry the flag at the football game that'd be epic hint 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 hey mike riley if you're listening <laughs> you should you should get a hold of me we should talk 